Wah. Wah. Wah, wah. Ba-ha-ha-ha. ba ha 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 ba All this and more on In The... Have you got any weird travel or like holiday stories? No, none. I've never even been traveling. What, really? But Are you doing a bit? No, you're doing a bit. You're definitely doing a bit. <laughs> if you've you're ever been a... traveling and done a holiday in that, please leave a comment <laughs> in the comment section below. <laughs> We'd love to feature it in the next video. All right, you have to be dropped somewhere in the wilderness. You can't pick a place with civilization, right? And you got to survive there for a week. Yeah. Where do you go? Okay, so somewhere completely lawless and abandoned. Yeah. Okay, London. London. <laughs> Have you ever been to Spain? Yeah, I went there once, but I got lost in Barcelona for like a full day. Oh, right. Really? What happened? H how old were you? Like... Oh, uh, 14. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I still just imagine your YouTube picture, just the body of a child just lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was... <laughs> I was there with my mum, and I wanted to walk down to the bakery to get something, which I'd seen the previous day. And it was like, oh, yeah, you can walk down the road and you turn left. I've got a terrible sense of direction. Okay. So I was 14, and it's maybe 10 in the morning, and I was like, all right, so you just go down there and you turn left, and there's the bakery. Anyway, so I do that, and... Uh, I turn left and the bakery's not there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd imagine just like Gmod's just the building, it's dragged by like gravity gun, it's just gone completely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where is it? Just, oh, it's not there. Okay, maybe it's down this street. And then that just begins, maybe it's this street. And then I have absolutely no idea how to get back. And you've got that ramping up tension as well, right? Like you think this will be the street, this will be the street, and it's not, and the anxiety kind of builds up and stuff. Well, for a long time, I was actually, you know, I was just exploring and, and having a good time. But I thought, oh, what I'll do is I'll just start doing like concentric circles. And then I'd have to find the hotel again. That would be fine. Um, I start doing like larger and larger circles, but I keep ending up at dead ends. And so having to sort of back trace. And then it's getting to lunchtime and I don't have a phone. I've got my wallet and it's got like 30 bucks. And then it becomes the afternoon. Then it becomes the early evening. I, I haven't told my mom like where I'm going or what I'm doing. Oh, shit. And so by the sort of mid evening, it's like 7 p.m. I've been on my feet for nine hours and I'm like, oh, I should probably just talk to a policeman or something at this point. There's a policeman walking around and I go up to him and I go, hi, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm a lost little boy. <laughs> hola, senor. Como estas? <laughs> yeah, hola. Hola, ma mama and, um. <laughs> mama, papa, go. <laughs> They go bye bye. <laughs> Just acting like they've been um, like assassinated by the local Sicarios or something. <laughs> and he, it's Mexico, and it? this guy is not interested in helping me one bit. I just give up. And then I'm just wandering around again and again. I ended up at this beautiful cathedral. I can't remember what it's called. Hold on. So it's a gorgeous thing. Yeah. Near there, you know, all the tourists go there. So there's a big taxi rank, and there might be 50 cabs. And so I was like, right, what I'll do is I'll just walk around to each taxi and just ask them, do you know where X hotel is, the hotel that I was staying at? But the problem was this hotel was totally new. Like it had just opened two weeks prior. So nobody knew it. So I went through 50 cabs. Hey, do you know where the X hotel is? Do you know where the X hotel is? Just getting more and more desperate. I got to the end of like 50 cabs and nobody knew where to go. And I was like, I'm kind of out of options here. And I'm like, okay, so start thinking about options for where to sleep. And then I look in my wallet and I notice the hotel key card. And I sort of look at it and on the back is the address to the hotel. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Right. So then I just ran to the nearest cab and I went, hello, this address, please. And then just showed them the card and they took me there and it was all fine. Or I died. It's a choose your own adventure. Yeah, like a heavy rain yeah. character. Did you, did you, did you yeah. do the quick time event where you paid it before leaving? And if not, it just shoots you. A silence pistol. <laughs> If you go back in time with like a phone, I don't reckon they would think it's magic. I think they would recognize it's technology because you're essentially going back in time oh, right. when you're showing someone like this. And they don't go, oh, magic iPad. They go, this is, you know, obviously just a very sophisticated piece of technology. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they'd have some comprehension. You're talking about technology going back in the past. I don't know if you've seen this, uh, this meme. It's very good. Oh, pull it up, Jamie. If I went back in time, I'd blow everyone's mind with my modern knowledge. But how do we make electricity? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you wouldn't know, right? You wouldn't. You, you'd, you'd think like, holy shit, I could change all this. I, but it's like, explain nuclear fission, please. It's so funny that you've brought this up. 
because I had this exact same discussion with Sumito. Do you reckon there's anything you could take back and then just essentially become king with it? A gun? Well, yeah, everyone says gun, but... Yeah, but g gun, it's like, oh my god, he pointed at man, man now dead, what? There was- there was light. There was light from gun. Muzzle flash. Light guard. Is he guard? He king now. That's exactly how it'd work. Even though back then it might be like, ye- ye oldie. Exactly the first problem you run into, even if you went to England. Okay, can I bring two things with me? Yes. A gun and an interpreter. Okay. Alright, that's interesting. So you've gone back in time. It's a big surprise. <laughs> Thank you for the- <laughs> Why does everyone fucking default to that picture? Here's a town. Ah. Very compressed town. She's super smart. And she knows all the ye old English and such. Of course. <laughs> I would stay the fuck away from someone with a gun with that facial expression. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in the past. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> so you go back in time. Yep. There's going to be a dude at the gates. Right, okay. What do you say to your interpreter to say to the dude? Open up the gate or uh, I will shoot. And then, I'll, yeah, obviously I don't, uh, I'll, I'll point the gun okay. at him. Oh, you, you, have to, you have to open the gate, otherwise he'll... You, he'll, he'll shoot? That's the that's the language you're going to use? He probably wouldn't even find the gun threatening, right? It just doesn't understand what it is. Oi, oi. Uh, not letting you <laughs> through. Now what? Uh, I then turn the gun on the interpreter <laughs> and then say, tell him that I will shoot you if he does not open the gate and an innocent life will be on his hands. Uh, what, what, what do I care? You look French or something. <laughs> no Frenchies. Oh shit, I fucking st I feel like I've just lost at chess in three moves. What the fuck happened? Uh... Hold on, now there's two of us. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, you're not getting in. Oh, uh, okay, okay, no, this is good. Okay, so I can make an example out of one of them. So definitely, I wouldn't say anything. I would just shoot one dead. Right. In the head, like clean shot. Like JFK style. He's dead now. Uh, go Oi, what's that device you got on your hand? Guards! Guards, seize him. <laughs> 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 now what do you do? They're fucking- they're, they're like fucking mimes coming out of a clown car, just like an infinite amount of them. Well, yeah, they've been preparing for war. They're constantly at war, so anyone who comes to the gates, they're- they're well, on high alert. I, I tell the interpreter, of course, to say, you know, stop, like, any more of you, you'll slow down the fucking frame rate of the game. Okay, so she says, no- no more, or we will kill more of you? Yeah, I think that works. Oh, just- just one more. <laughs> oh, God. Steve- Steve wants to see what's going on. He's putting on his shoes. <laughs> You're now locked out of the village, and all guards to the front. All right, I think... How many are there in total? Like, eight? Eight. Okay, so... Uh, also, wait, hold on. I forgot to mention another problem. Oh, shit. Right, hold it right there. We're about to fire. Oh, no. Not only an archer. And we're extremely accurate. But an archer with a non-transparent background. <laughs> it's over. I, I, I'd have to shoot the archers. I'd have to shoot them all dead. We'll be generous to say you actually managed to hit one, right? So he's gone. You miss this one, and in fact, the bullet lands the, uh, in the parapet. And so they notice that there's something that's broken the rocks. So they start ducking for cover behind the rocks. They're now firing arrows at you from behind these things. Right, okay. I'll make the incredibly brave decision to hide behind the interpreter. <laughs> you fucked it. You fucked the whole situation up. Oh, I know. I don't know what to do. Yeah. You're I never, fucking you're gun, never gonna become king at this rate, mate. I literally had a gun. I Listen. don't know how I fucked it up so bad. It's really difficult. I have no idea how this is supposed to be done. Trailer time. Jane had it all. The looks, the money, the job. You're the best lawyer at the firm. And all there was missing. Come on, you've got to get out there. Ugh, all men are the same. Was love. Until one day. Everyone, I'd like to introduce our new head of IT, Nordman. She met someone completely different. Ugh, what a nerd. I mean, he's kinda cute. Hold that elevator. And she's about to discover what she was missing all along. Might be in here for a while, want to watch the British Netflix catalog. You have access to that. I can access content all across the globe using NordVPN's international servers. So I met this girl. Here we go again. I think this time is different. She doesn't even use a VPN when browsing public Wi-Fi. For personal details are open to the world. Well, maybe I can be the VPN for her. What? Two people from different worlds find themselves drawn together. I found six other users on your account. Wait, I can explain. I only want you. Jane Everyone. Nord Man. Jennifer Aniston, and Ryan Gosling as Shadow Man. Hey, are you up? Well, Lord VPN has 24-hour support. I just wanted to hear your voice. I love Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Something about mood. Where are you? Oh, just popped over to Egypt for a little bit. Italy next. I'll meet you there. Go to nordvpn.com slash incognito for tickets to a two-year plan plus a free extra month money-back guarantee. Here's Epstein Island. I, I wonder who owns it now? Good question. It's quite a nice one. <laughs> Look, you can see the children yeah. running away. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some cool detail. Like, okay, so you got this. You walk out of your mansion, and then there's kids in that one, kids in that one, kids in that one. <laughs> and then you got, and then you've got, this is like the clubhouse, I suppose. And then this is where you go for a view off the terrace. What do you do when you're on the island? Just relax. That would get so boring after a while. It's like, what's the time? I don't know. I'll have to go here, consult the sundial. There's literally <laughs> nothing to do apart from <laughs> capture children. <laughs> yeah, that would actually be quite funny. <laughs> well, no, okay, it would be funny. Yeah, but think about what you say. Like, <laughs> think about what you say. <laughs> they start from here, and then there's like, what, 500 kids? When the sundial reaches noon, Mm. That's when all the cages release at once. <laughs> You're making this sound like it's fucking Hunger Games or something. Hunting the greatest game of all. Man. You know how in the Hunger Games there's like 12 districts, like 1 to 12? Yeah. On this one, there's just two. There's District Jeff and District Epstein. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, this is the split down the middle. <laughs> that's it. And then there's like, that's a weapons depot, that's a weapons depot. So what do they do with it now? Like, they wouldn't just leave it to rot. Surely someone else gets to buy it. I mean, you'd want to put a hotel on it, right? You'd be like, hey, welcome to Epstein Island. You know, fine stuff buried in the backyard here's a shovel only you know 2.99 or whatever yeah everything's themed it just becomes like a theme park scribble my name off the flight log <laughs> and i'll give you a shotgun <laughs> burn this evidence and you'll get an extra life that's great yeah it's just like everything's <laughs> epstein themed instead of those like lays they put around your neck it's just a bed sheet noose <laughs> like everyone who walks onto the island gets one. Oh my god yeah, this was on Epstein Island, right? Everybody gets their own face on one of these once you go on the, <laughs> the Epstein roller coaster or the. Well, I suppose it'll be the Dodgem cars. I was more thinking of like a horror house, honestly, but yeah. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone is still like mowing these lawns. <laughs> is that the biggest you know what I mean? concern? Like... Are there any more children there? Are their lives saved? No, 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 no. Look, the, the grass is five centimeters too long. You gotta, you gotta trim that shit. What's those big metal birds in the sky? I'm not sure. They carry people, apparently. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm starting to get a bit wary of flying. Statistically, it's basically an anomaly, the number of people who go down. But every time there's a little bit of turbulence, I'm just going, it's the, <laughs> it's the big one. Oh my god, yeah. But yeah, I, I know mm. what you mean. I would feel so much more calmed down just by seeing the pilots in the cockpit. Even if they were going, whoa, this is a lot of turbulence. This is not good. I'd sort of be calmed by that, just seeing what they were doing. Oh, I mean, you could have gone into any cockpit before 9-11 and then they added the locks on the, the I did seat. when I was a kid it was my birthday and uh, my parents told the stewardess and, and she goes oh would you like to see the cockpit young man oh hell yeah I would yeah brilliant <laughs> and you went in there and it's just like tons of buttons have you ever seen a grown man naked you know what? I'm convinced 95% of these buttons don't do anything. They're just there for show. Oh, definitely, yeah. To make it seem like flying a plane is more complicated. Yeah, it's it's literally like a giant RGB keyboard. Yeah. There's just so many buttons <laughs> that you will just never use. So I don't like flying much anymore. If I could drive, I would. Where would you drive to? Oh, I'd quite like to drive around Europe. Quite like to drive around the United States. You could go to the Netherlands and probably hit about 15 cyclists. Have you seen how many people are on bikes in that country? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, they're all on bikes and wooden shoes and that. It's genius, though, because, like, I thought, because when I heard how progressive it was with, like, the cycling, and I was like, oh, great, you know, no carbon emissions, you know, very nice, very nice, very clean. Right. But, man, I just ended up hating cyclists. Because with cars, you can hear them travel, right? You can hear them move. You can yeah. fly, Unless it's, like, an Elon Musk Tesla, like, you know, that's going to sneak up on you. But with a cyclist, nothing. Isn't that always the worst when you're going for a walk and then you suddenly hear ting, 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 ting behind you? They do it so <laughs> delayed, right? It should be like a cat. They should wear a little bell around their neck. Well, if they all just have like those, uh, all right, this isn't very practical, actually. I haven't even finished the sentence and I know it's not practical, but they could have like right. all those, those air raid sirens that <laughs> would go up, you know, and there's like a blitz in World War II, right? Wow. Obviously, if you did that in the Netherlands, everyone would be deaf in about 50 minutes. But. Yeah, I don't mind that. Maybe they should all have that little baseball card with the peg on the spoke. <laughs> What's that? You know, like the old timey days. I wasn't born in the 1800s, so I'm not... When you used to get a pack of gum for two cents, and it would come with a baseball card in it, and you'd put your Babe Ruth card right on the spokes. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Zuma. This is going over my head. You don't know what this is at all? Nah. You've never heard of this? I've seen it in, like, films and stuff, yeah, but I've never actually... Could you imagine if that actually, like, had a 
value of like 250k or something and he just <laughs> folded it in half to put it on his son's bike here's an issue with spider-man number one oh oh okay yeah oh no oh my god oh my god i just had like fucking jimmy neutron moment oh <laughs> my god i had them they weren't cards yeah they were like little shitty bits of plastic really boring basically but yeah they, they'd flip off the wheels and make that noise yeah there's this card called like the fat gay pikachu <laughs> and it's worth you know maybe like a thousand bucks 800 bucks something like that before he opens the pack for 50 bucks can you fold the cards and like put a permanent crease in them oh no <laughs> <laughs> so there's a permanent crease in it now they're yeah, just molding Oh, look at that. My video recommended it. You, you love to see it. Yeah, I can see it down below as well, going camping at the end of the world. Literally chilling. Uh, I see the Activate Windows, by the way. Pay your license. Cheapskate. Never. <laughs> never. <feet. laughs> you know how many Nord sponsors you get, man? You can't pay for your license. <laughs> Disgusting. Like, you do the tele license bit in the UK. Them. We pay our license. Listen, Bill Gates has got me injecting his mind control autism. <laughs> I'm not going to give him money as well. <laughs> Have you thought of how many destinations and countries get fucking mobbed by tourists because they have like one mediocre attraction there? Oh yeah, like France. So I was looking up uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa earlier on mm. and it's genius because you see that the tower and you think, okay, it looks pretty nice, like nice little attraction. Mm. But it's the kind of thing you could just see from Google images. Yeah. But then there are people that will fly all the way over there just to see the tower. And the worst thing is about it, I have seen pictures on Google Images of like, not even hyperbole, a hundred people, and they're all trying to do the same shitty pose, where they're trying to lean on the yeah, tower. Yeah, yeah, holding up the tower, yeah, yeah. They're all doing it at the same time. Yeah, it's not a good situation over there as far as I can tell. I didn't know you can go in the pizza. Can you? I um, mean, yeah, there does seem to be a queue. Unless they're queuing for the toilets. <laughs> Maybe the toilets are in the tower. Could you imagine? Just, <laughs> just at the very top, like it's one year and off. Sometimes I see those places that just have like an enormous amount of rubbish. Yeah. And I think, um, like, where's the bins? You know what I mean? Like, just put some bins around. <laughs> What's travel stuff? Travelators. I still don't quite understand why they haven't been adapted throughout whole cities in some place. Like, you only ever see those in the airport. And I don't. Wait, what, what are they? A travelator. You know, like a travelator. Oh, that, that's like an escalator, but just flat. Yes. Right. Yeah, I never knew the name of them. Ah, uh, just moving walkway. Yeah. And like, so why don't they just have them in the middle of the city on pavements and stuff? What, too expensive? You lazy- But surely that Walk, you lazy yeah, bastard. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> across like Fifth and Broadway or something. Have you not seen like obesity want... rates in the Western world? It's literally going to just quadruple if you fucking add these things everywhere. Like, why not just have that down all like the busy, especially in like London, where everyone's trying to get to the tube or whatever. If you had that on the high street, how would you be able to get off it if you wanted to go to a certain shop? Unless you divided it into two lanes, where one of them was continuous and the other... Yeah, two lanes, uh, isn't it? Also, if someone, if someone fell over, it'd just be like a fucking domino effect. Take like 80 people with him as well. Yeah, but they, they still have them in the airport. Like, people can fall over in the airport ones. This is like one of those ideas Elon Musk has at <laughs> three in the morning. It's like, Elon, Elon, come on, you shouldn't... No, you can't build cars underground, Elon, come on. Right, uh, uh, I can't do an Elon Musk impression. Let me, let me try. If, if, if we have uh, travelators going through the whole city then everyone will get to their destination a lot fast <laughs> find me one good reason other than it's expensive oh it can't get rained on and also the homeless would sleep on it you imagine just these homeless people just all traveling the city <laughs> I'm really happy you mentioned this cathedral in Spain. I had experience with a church in Spain. So I was on holiday. I, I don't remember how old I was. I think like 10 or something, pretty young. So we're walking around. We go into this nowhere near the size of that cathedral. This is like baby's first Minecraft cathedral. Mm. Uh, it's in like a tiny little village. We go in there. It's just full of cats. Cats absolutely everywhere. Why? 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 I, I don't know. It's just maybe they had like a cat god or something. Who knows? But there was a bell. Right. And it was like on a striped pulley. It, it looks so attractive to, to yoink it. Me, a 10 year old, I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. This. I'm an adult. This is my first adult move in my life. <laughs> I will not pull that bell. This is like Pandora's fucking box. I'm not touching that bell. Mm. My dad pulls the fucking bell. 
No! I'm not even making this up. Every villager, like, like fucking, like it's a Minecraft siege or something. Every villager comes out. They're all there. They're, they're all shouting at me. I feel like I'm in some, like, bit from Breaking Bad or something where they're in Mexico. Just everyone's screaming at us. <laughs> you know, they're, they're saying like, Yo, why are you pulling the bell? Why, why? Just, why are you, you pulling the bell? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you pulling the bell? The cat bell. And my dad, as heroic as he was and as brave as he was, completely fucking threw me under the bus and blamed me. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just points at me. He's like, oh, no, it was him. It was him. It was him. It was him. I didn't do it, it was him. Oh. Because obviously in his brain, no. it was like all these angry people that don't speak my language. If, you know, if they think it's the child. Yeah. Then surely, you know, we might just get like a jail sentence. We won't be hung. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think I would do the same. I'd, I'd hear something like, oh, come on. He's only a kid. Son, we'll talk about this later. Pretending like we'll punish him. Yeah. I think I'd do that too. That'd be fun. Have you been anywhere... In America? Yes, yes, more than once even. Did you go to California? Yeah, I went to LA. I hated it, and so did every person who lived there that I asked about it. Yeah, I went to Venice Beach. Yeah. Uh, you know that place, right? I know it from GTA. Yeah, no, literally, I was walking, I was like, oh my god, this is the place GTA stole from. Mm. Yeah, so I was walking down there, and I got offered crack about five times. It was genius. Oh, nice. These little meth goblins would just literally come out of the sand and just be like, you know, you want some... Like, imagine the merchant from Resident Evil 4, but instead he just has crack and nothing else. That'd be really annoying, because you'd buy crack from the first guy, but then you'd just keep being asked as you go, down, go along, you know? It's, oh, I've already bought the crack. Like, I don't need... As soon as the person <laughs> makes line of sight, they will run towards you and open the dialogue. Yeah. Would you go to space? Would you go to the moon? Oh, that's a good question. I'd probably be shit scared. You know, just don't want to end up like the challenger. Or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I feel like yeah. once I'm there, I'll be like, oh, nice, okay, wow. So you'd go to the moon? Yeah. I feel like it'd make me very existential, just being able to mm. see the Earth. Yeah. So you would go to the moon? Then. You mean just to visit, right? Not live there? Yeah, yeah, no, you don't, you're not stranded, although. No. No, okay. <laughs> so first thing you're on the moon, right? What would you do? I don't know, have, have I came with anyone? Or am I just completely on my own? Yeah, you're allowed to bring one friend. Uh, okay, I'll bring the interpreter from the uh, the medieval bit with me then. <laughs> yeah, right. I think memes aside, realistically, I would probably just spend like a full hour just looking at the earth. Just trying to contemplate that I'm not there anymore. Yeah. That's what I think I'd do. I want to dig a hole. What, on the moon? Yeah. Oh, you're just not one of those man-children that thinks it's made of cheese still. <laughs> Apparently the consistency of the moon is like ash. Like it's so fine. Not like sand. It's like cigarette ash. And I just want to see, like, what if, what if you found something? So what are you planning to find that tens of drones haven't found? Oh, I don't know. Cheese. Are you going to say cheese on you? <laughs> no, aliens in that. Alien cheese? All right, well, thanks for coming on the show, Pyrocynical. I can see you're on your Travelator now. and I'm you're heading to the moon. Heading to Here I go, on the Travelator. Immediately I... walking on that, a homeless person. Just Why step over are all him. these homeless people going to the moon? I'm quite confused. Oh, fuck, you get all the way to the moon and then you forget your toothbrush. And you gotta go back. <laughs> I was more thinking you didn't <laughs> give me a fucking space suit, but yeah, no. The, the toothbrush Tell is more dome. It'll be fine. They, you don't need a suit. They just say that for safety reasons. There's there's a dome. And then you go there and it's just it's like... more homeless people there as well. Yeah, we just send the homeless to a dome on the moon. <laughs> they love it. I feel this is some like really niche Rick and Morty bit that didn't make the final cut. Hey, I heard you quit YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I'm quitting YouTube. I'm gonna upload exclusively onto Paul. I, I heard that your merch got recalled for having asbestos in it. Is that true, Pyroscopical? Do you want to comment on it? Uh, that's not fraud. That's not fraud. I'd call that uh, That's just false, false advertising. advertising. <laughs> anyway, so that was the only controversy that you have had in recent history, and uh, we're all going to move on. <laughs> leave my house, please. Yeah, okay, I'll leave now. Hey, I'm back. Remember, there's a two-year plan and plus a free extra amount of money.